what we're saying guys it's me Zyla and I'm back with another video I'm trying not to laugh because I am aware that I have been away for a while and I sort of feel like oops hey anyone still here I've been living my life so yeah and I think I just got out of the swing of uh, recording but I'm in the mood I thought what better video to start with than to break down my project that I dropped last year called Gorgeous. You guys seem to like the video that I did uh, on Nature of the Beast, so I thought why not do the same thing for Gorgeous. Shout out to the recommendation from my Discord family. If you want to join, I'm protective over my Discord family, I'm not gonna lie, but hit me up uh, in my DMs on Instagram and I'll send you a link. Anyway, let's get to it. My phone. Okay. Ooh, focus. Right. I'm gonna try to do this to the best of my ability. Mm, let's see. We we all need to catch up as well. I feel like we've not really just had a chat in a while, so we can ha we can properly catch up in another video. Where am I? Where's the thing? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this is the project I dropped. I think was it the second of September, two thousand and nineteen. Uh, it was my second full length body of work. Different to Nature of the Beast, where I feel like uh, Nature of the Beast was like a collection of different vibes. This, I feel like, definitely had more of a mood to the full body of work. I, I sort of did that purposely. I wanted the whole project to just be sexy. Like, sexy vibes. So even from like, the colors I chose uh, for the artwork, I wanted it to feel like, let me set the scene. So imagine the sun is setting, you're with someone that you like, um, that you're trying to seduce, you're cruising, tops down, you might have had a couple of drinks or whatever, you're just feeling the vibes, you're feeling yourself, they're feeling themselves and you're just having a good time. It's sexy, like, you know, you know the vibes. Um, I wanted the, the project to have that feel throughout um, and I think what set off the premise for that vibe was the song Sweet Like, which is why I actually made it the first song, but it was actually the song that set the overall tone for the project, um, because that is what that song felt like to me. You ever like felt a colour? You know, like a mood you just associate with certain colours? I feel like th those colours, those sunset vibes, is what I feel if I was to close my eyes and listen to all the songs on the project. Sweet Like. So, I wrote this song 2018, I think, with a guy called Tom Hem Tom Henry, um, who played me the beat, I thought it was Fire, and um, I'm pretty sure the melody just sort of came to me straight away, um, and the vibe, like I remember just closing my eyes and sort of recording the melody into my phone, and I started like setting the scene of this uh, magical sort of place that I'd created in my head. And um, one of the things that I was sort of doing a, a really intensive amount of research on at the time was um, uh, like polyamory and monogamy and just like um, whether or not it works for certain people. Um, and just, yeah, I guess I found the idea of it um, interesting. It's something I'd thought about um, just wanting to learn more about in general. So I kind of wanted to write a song uh, that embodied that and um, embodied that feeling of exploration. Um, so I sort of used exploring this magical place as a metaphor for like exploring, you know, your sexuality or like what you do sexually um, with somebody it's like you're trying to bring them in on that experience, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so if you listen to the lyrics, I'm, I'm setting the scene and I'm basically taking someone with me and just being like, hey, like, you know, how am I supposed to just pick one option when there's a whole magical world of many options out there? Um, and that's also why I did the sort of candy shop reference as well because it's like you know the, the phrase the kid in a candy shop it's like when you've got so much options and things around you and i think that sort of uh what i was most interested in about polyamory 
and uh, how you can have multiple options. So yeah, that's that's that. It's mad because I had a lot of people asking me afterwards, so are you like into polyamory? And I was just like, oh, I just, I like to research stuff. So yeah. Anyway, next song, Be There Soon. Uh, absolutely love this song. This song's produced by my boy, um, Bowtie, who's produced quite a few of my songs. I think this was one of the first songs I wrote to production I received from him. So it will always hold a place in my heart, aside from the fact that I just think it's a banger. Uh, because when I got sent a bunch of beats by this guy who I you know, didn't know, never met, it was a friend of my manager's. And um, I was like, yo, these are fire, what the heck? Where's this guy been all my life? <laughs> and um, yeah, I sort of started writing to it straight away. I wonder if I've even got the voice. No, it's still where I come up with the melodies. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'll, um, let me see. Because I, I record most of my stuff just like on my phone, I'm on with a voice note. And usually the, the um, melody I go with for the final song is like the melody that first came to me. Oh, yeah. Be there soon. 1st of February, 2019. Let's see. This is definitely not the first voice note, but it was. Uh, it must have been on that day still, because normally I just come up with the. I never. I very rarely have melody and words straight away, but either way, the beat was fire, and that's the vibe I went for. Um, I think I've actually explained. Have I explained be there soon in another video? Why do I feel like I have? Be there soon is a song about internet kind of relationship, um, and then breaking the internet barrier and going and seeing the person in real life. So it's um, kind of, I approached it as a, I guess, somewhat of a real legitimate situation and scenario, but then I went off into like a hypothetical thought of like what would happen, um, you know, like if you're speaking to somebody online, which would tend to be the case for me because I, I don't really meet a lot of people even like new friends or whatever um, in social situations because I don't be going anywhere so shout out to all my other introverts who can relate so uh, a lot of my interactions are via the internet and then it's like chatting to someone getting to know them um, in whatever way and then finding out that they live mad far and uh, what would happen if you were to just be like fuck it I'm just gonna book a flight and fly out tomorrow I'll see you soon like I'll be there soon um so yeah and uh so the first verse is that sort of introduction like hey let's get introduced how the hell are you you know and then the second verse is more so what happens when i actually arrive um and again it follows the same sort of theme of sexy feeling yourself um yeah this was a real feeling yourself kind of kind of um project i wanted to tap into um yeah my sexuality and my more sexual nature um i'm a very intense lover and uh person when it comes to that sort of thing but i'm very reserved and uh it's saved for special people that i think are you know worth that but um i very rarely tap into that kind of uh, part of my personality and I just thought it would be really cool to show that sort of side of me um, because it's definitely fun to explore uh, so yeah that's be there soon so shot a really cool video to that which was fire um, directed by um, Hype Mario it was really really cool really captured the essence of what I feel like that song was about so shout out to that next song through the ceiling um love this song as well pretty sure i wrote this song in 2018 as well um 
and this song is about being drunk to be fair and what that feels like when you're like completely off your face and uh, you feel like you're kind of floating I suppose maybe if you're on other stuff as well like whatever whatever you used to not my business but that feeling of being waved um, and yeah so that through the ceiling I don't know if you've ever had that feeling where you're waved and you like lay down on your bed and like things start spinning and you feel like you're sort of lifting it can feel quite out of body so I wanted something to sort of capture that so it's not even just drinking it's like having a lot of shit going on and wanting to drink to sort of escape that um, which is something admittedly I did used to do even though I don't think that's a healthy thing to do it is something that I did do um, and that's a song about that that song by the way I uh, was with uh, Marco he's the one who produced hit me up don't waste my time adore I think that's it he produced that really cool guy love love working with him next song is get some um love this song as well i wrote this song with um a guy called dandelion who's a dope producer and artist and my best friend cairo um uh, i love like writing songs with with those guys it's like super duper fun um i wrote that song years ago i'm gonna say maybe 2016 or 2017 even so this was one of the songs that i sort of already had similar to sweet like it was the, it, in fact it's the oldest song on the project but it fit the vibe of uh the kind of you know ooh, sexy like i'm feeling myself like that but it fit that kind of vibe so i thought why not throw it in the mix and um this song yeah essentially about the same thing it's like you're vibing kicking it with someone that you think is cool you fancy them you think they're nice um and this is another one where i like set the scene uh, it was very much like cruising on a highway or whatever and um getting waved and going to space if you know what i mean uh yeah with, with someone that you that you admire and you like and it's like yeah never experienced this before i'm gonna take you to places you've never been and never seen um it's a very like self-assured self-confident um in my uh sexuality type of song i feel like majority of the songs embody that it was very much from a i know what i'm about and i know you've peaked the the vibe and the energy and i know you're feeling it so like come on let's do this let's go <laughs> yeah so that's that next song is old thing this song i wrote with my boy tom henry again same one that produced sweet like it's a banger i love this song um same sort of thing similar sort of theme they're all majority of them just sort of along the lines of different scenarios in which you're pursuing somebody that you've got your eyes on um and being led by that it's very enticing and alluring like all, all the songs i feel like in capture that in, in a different sort of way it's like Scorpio energy, you know. If you know, if you know. If you know, you know. Um, I've, I've got a very um, Scorpio and uh, Leo energy when it comes to uh, my intensity uh, in love and everything under the umbrella of that. So yeah, I was tapping into that. Um, this one's more so set in like. Uh, not so much like a club setting because obviously I don't really be going to clubs. However, I did exaggerate certain aspects of my personality in this one. Like gorgeous, not all the songs are of even things I would actually do. So like, for example, Wild Thing, I am sort of talking about being out like in a social setting, like a club, for example. Um, 
but yeah i sort of built characters around those different parts of my personality like and enhanced them because uh, i just thought it's more f it's more fun to do that like i can't always write songs from experience because you're sort of limited to what you can write and i'm a storyteller and a creative writer so i like to imagine things like out of thin air that's something i've started to do recently as well because it's so much fun to just write songs from a different perspective um so yeah this was that me being out spotting someone we both don't really want to be there so it's like should we just leave here let's leave i never peeped you you're my type and i know you don't want to be here either let's just kick let's just bounce and you can come and stay at mine and we can do wild things next song into the sun absolutely love this song one of my favorite songs uh produced by my boy rom the fool and um this was heavily inspired by one of my favorite songs by nerd which is called run to the sun um hence the name into the sun run to the sun it was sort of an ode to like, my favorite song um well, one of my favorite songs you guys should know what my favorite song is wait do you know i'm gonna give it a chance to, to turn if you didn't say front and by pharrell i'm quite upset about that that's my favorite song then this right into the sun is my favorite any rd song this song is yep same thing you really fuck with someone um and you wanna go into the sunset with them you know using that i think when when i refer to something in that kind of way or someone in that kind of way like come with me i want to ride into the sun let's go into the sun um the sun's like the the brightest and like most powerful kind of light we have i want you to come there with me um this is more so than just like a sexual thing it's not so much like lust led this is this is more so directed at someone who i actually am proper into um on more of a spiritual level than just i think you're hot less like like you know do stuff um so yeah pretty self-explanatory it's uh, different to the i guess more in depth i could have gone with nature of the beast because i think they were more so really quite emotion led whereas this was like vibe led it's like quite chilled and like fluid and played off of the same sort of theme so essentially a lot of the songs are kind of about the same thing just like slightly different mood um so yeah into the sun's that next one's take a risk again produced by my boy bowtie um flipping love this song this is like just the beats like doo -doo 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 -doo. love that oh, sweeter than a swisher no can sit down baby I ain't never really ever told a lie to you. Same thing. They all did about the same thing, really, innit? They all about the same thing. This is just basically me saying I think you're nice. Take a risk on me. You know, like, if you can tell someone kind of likes you, but you, you might, you might not even be the best thing for them because of where you're at, that kind of stage you're at. I guess, you know, like if you're in a sort of play the field type of mentality, they might not want to take that risk because they might peak that energy. But it, 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 that was me sort of channeling and embodying and riding the wave of being like, yeah, whatever, you know, still take the risk. Come on, just live your life. Fuck all that shit, like just do it anyway it's quite cheeky it was actually originally supposed to be called take a risk i couldn't decide whether or not to call it take a risk or wonderland because i say like take you to wonderland again i, I kind of I, I always sort of had this in like thing in my mind of like me being like hey this is what i'm about come come with me like a little peek of what they could have so i'd give them a taster of like this is me and then snatch it away and then be like so you know do you wanna you wanna come come well you gotta take a risk you gotta come with me and i'll show you i'll take you to wonderland so i couldn't i couldn't really decide but i felt like take a risk was more appropriate just for the actual vibe because it was like come on 
forget about your worries be like footloose and fancy free just live your life next song is another round love this song as well this song is just about having sex to be fair yep just point blank period that's just what it's about yep having sex with someone that you really 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 like it could be a partner it could be not your partner it could be a friend with benefits it could be whatever whatever you want it to be just think a minute just close your eyes and just imagine that person the sexiest person that you love whoever you might be someone who's already in your life it might be someone you really want them doing the do with them and it being so good that you want to do it again and again and again however many times you play the song it's the amount of times but i love this i this is produced by my boy bowtie again and um the, the the beat set the tone for that i heard it and i knew it had to be something sexy straight away it kind of reminded me of like a miguel type vibe He's really good at doing the whole sexy thing without it being like explicit. Um, it's still seductive. I like that sort of element of mystery. And I think that's what I wanted to kind of try and capture throughout the mood of this whole project. It not be a explicit, lay it all out kind of vibe. It more so be mysterious and enticing and alluring and like hypnotic. Um, and I feel like another round, even though you know what it is, is still tasteful because it's kind of like, oh, this is this is sexy. So yeah, I feel like that was my first like baby making tune. Not saying I did any of that to the tune. Why would you even say that? Why would you even suggest that? But if anybody did want to make babies to the tune, I feel like that would be quite a good background music to it you you do whatever you want to do with the song it's your choice you know your choice talk to me talk to me again produced by will again a, a internet based love story um i feel like this is quite a thing for our day and age now a lot of relationships happen via the internet um whether you use dating apps or instagram instagram is kind of a dating app to be fair like that kind of process of you know you do the little kind of online flirting a little bit you tap oh couple pictures and then they like a couple pictures and you're like oh and then someone slides into the dms and then next thing you know you're dating it's that sort of interaction which i think is like a common a common love story like i imagine you'll probably hear from a lot of people oh well yeah i mean I followed them and they followed me and then liked a couple pics and then they liked a couple pics and then the rest of the history like that kind of a vibe so that was uh pretty much yeah what that one's about and last but by no means least lover where are you freestyle produced by will shout out to will he produced what five songs on that project absolutely loved this song this song legit was a freestyle and one of the first songs that i wrote lyric and melody first thing that came out to me like legit a freestyle i think i've done it in like two takes at studio i just told my boy alex the engineer to like press the on button and uh i'm just gonna freestyle um i kind of already had the Love, love, love. that in my head um without lyrics and then they just came out and then i just started flowing that was that and this was sort of why i had this as the conclusion to the the project is especially because i was kind of going off of that mood of like playing the field doing the whole dating thing exploring yourself you know that yeah exploration of sexuality and um feeling yourself and getting to know people and all of that it was that sort of pondering on the thought of the at the end of like oh 
where is the person who is the person for me um because i think you know in the whole kind of like dating world people essentially are testing the waters ultimately to find someone they want to be with for something long lasting um so it sort of was that it was kind of like oh lover where are you i've been looking for you you know the, all these other songs i've been looking for you i found thought i found someone here thought i found someone there thought i found someone there and they wasn't that person um and sort of saying you know i'm open to whatever you know i wonder who it will be how was that really i don't really think there's much more to that um how does the song even start i don't really know what love is but i know i'm feeling something or maybe i'm mistaken i don't know the definition yeah pondering on the thought of love like oh I'm, I'm looking for it do i even know what it is do i even know what i'm looking for um have i already found it in someone i already know maybe i have oh gosh is it too late do they feel the same just pondering on the thought of love as a whole concept um because it's kind of like yeah been doing this been doing this i don't want to do that anymore i want to find i wanted to find yeah person so i guess i think it was that it was that sort of thing um i just thought it would be a cool thing to sort of uh write a song about because i've felt that um before i feel like that's it um i guess this probably wasn't as uh you know a different in terms of uh, the different vibes just mainly because it was a mood project um but you know nonetheless that was the vibe uh yeah i definitely wanted to to share that excuse me part of my personality uh even though a lot of it was amplified and more so i sort of it was the the me if i actually left my room and did any of those crazy things that i was talking about in the songs i sort of yeah created um a character around that uh just so i could create a cool story more so than anything um because otherwise all the songs would have been about me sitting in my room <laughs> it's a super fun project to to, to write yeah, i enjoyed making it so i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did be sure to subscribe if you're not already because what the heck are you doing if you're not subscribed and stay tuned for my next video